welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Today we're going to be taking a look at some plush that sold on Poshmark. So this will be part four of our plush series that we're doing on all of the plush that sold in the first quarter. The first three videos were January, February, March on eBay. We sell a lot more plush on eBay than we do on Poshmark, so we had to separate that by months. We do move plush on Poshmark. It's just a lot slower. I don't know that it's like the target market to sell plush on the way eBay or Mercari can be, but it still sells there. It's relatively a new category on Poshmark, so their, their you know audience may not be used to it or may not know to go there to look for it. But we sell enough that it's absolutely worth cross-posting all of our plush especially because we use less perfectly, which makes it so easy to cross post. So I've got all of the plush here that sold on Poshmark since January, from January 1st through March 31st, which is the first quarter. So let's start with Cookie Monster here. This is a Sesame Street branded Cookie Monster plush I had gotten for 50 cents back in Pittsburgh at the Goodwill there. And he sold for $16 on Poshmark. If you are not a seller on Poshmark and you're unaware, their buyers pay the shipping. You can offer shipping discounts when you send out offers, but at the end of the day, unless you offer free shipping, which you can do, their buyers pay for the shipping. We typically do not offer free shipping on Poshmark. We may offer like $4.99 shipping. Um, so, the cost here was 16 plus shipping. So you can make a little bit more on Poshmark, not just with plush, with anything, because you can sell it at eBay prices or even a little bit higher, plus they're paying the shipping in addition to that. So he sold for 16 and after fees on Poshmark and cost of goods, we made $10.30 on Cookie Monster. This is a lot of two small dandy plush. They were really tiny. 8-inch plush. They had the Valentine's Day theme, each of them holding a heart. So I decided to lot them up and see what happens. They were 50 cents a piece. So they sold for 16 and our um, profit on them after fees and cost of goods was $11.80 on the two. Dandy is a good brand to source. I talked a little bit about that in the last video of eBay plush that sold, the one for March. It's a decent brand. A lot of them are gonna be bread and butter. So if you aren't um, comfortable with bread and butter or filler items, just comb them before you purchase them. But some are very surprisingly worth a lot of money. Cookie Monster and Sesame Street are kind of oversaturated, but I still pick them up when I find them. All right, now let's move on to this, na this National Geographic Otter. He's got a National Geographic tag. He is a Eurasian otter. The otter was free for us. He came in our free plush lot that we got. And he sold for $14. So our profit on him was right around $11, which is nice. Especially on a McDonald's toy. You guys, Care Bear Cousins, Arbolo. Care Bears themselves are Bolo, especially the vintage ones. And again, some characters are more popular than others. We've done the best with the Funshine Bear and the um, Cares A Lot Bear, the one with the rainbow. I find that those will move more quickly and they've always calmed higher for me. Vintage ones are going to do better as well. But I, as a general rule, will always source Care Bears. The Cousins are a whole different thing. I think they are harder to find. They are a lot less saturated on the selling platforms online. And so they're going to comp a little bit higher. This is Lots of Heart Elephant. You guys may remember him if you're my age. He was probably one of my favorites of the cousins. And so he sold for $23. We did get him for only a dollar. So our profit on him was right around $17.40, which is nice. Next up, we have this Panda Express Panda Bear. 
I found this for 50 cents at Goodwill. I thought I'd give it a try. It did sell for $14, so our profit was around $10.50. I do like to pick up any mascots or animals from restaurants that I find. Um, they typically do pretty well. Next up, we have a Disney Palace Pets kitty. This is Aurora's kitty. Its name is Beauty. I did want to show you something I like to do with plush that glow or light up. I'll take all of my normal pictures of the plush, and then I will take a picture with the lights out. And then once you remove the background with uh, an app like Photo Room app, or on List Perfectly, it doesn't look like you took it in the dark. So it'll look the same as the other ones with the background removed. Otherwise, it's going to look kind of like dark and dingy. But the reason I like to take it with the lights off is so that it shows to the buyer that it glows. I'll also include in the description um, some of the phrases that it says, or if it's an electronic plush that sings or dances, I'll put whatever song it plays. It just kind of helps sell it when you can tell the buyer, hey, it lights up, it purrs, it says this, it sings this, or whatever. And then I will put uh, which batteries that it requires that they're not included. You're not supposed to ship plush with batteries in them. You can put them in a baggie and send them alongside the plush if you so choose. If it's a domestic, if it's international, you shouldn't have batteries in the package at all. But I do like to tell the buyer what batteries it requires so they know. She sold for 15. Our profit was $9. She was about a dollar cost of goods. Next up, we have a Hallmark Hedgehog. I got this at Goodwill um, a while back. It's a stuck on you little Valentine's Day hedgehog with these little, um, his quills are made out of like felt. And he does spin around and dance. And again, here in the description, I put what he sings. He sings stuck on you while spinning and moving back and forth. He requires three AA batteries, so you can see all that information that I put in there. And he did sell for $23, so our profit on him was around $17.40. I like electronic plush, especially those that sing and dance. I love Hallmark plush as well. Those are all um, types that I recommend picking up if you find them. Next up, we have a Starbucks. Starbucks Barista Bear. I did have several of these. They came in a lot. They were all about a dollar a piece. This is the Italian Gondolier Bear from Venice, Italy. Starbucks put these out um, pretty much every year. Their years are on them. And they have different types of bears and different costumes. So there are people that definitely look for these and collect them. I would absolutely source these again if I found them in the wild. He sold for 16, so we made 934 on this bear. And last but not least, a Secret Life of Pets plush made by Toy Factory. This is Sweet Pea. She's nine inches. She was a 50 cent find. And I picked her up because she was from a recognizable. Um, kids movie. She's a recognizable character. She did sell for $12, so our profit was right around 6 If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Help us feed a hungry hippo. Join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can search for it on Facebook or use the link down below. Until next time, guys, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.